to the worst balance changes, in my opinion, that the Blizzard could have done almost. I mean, seriously, these are way too low. Way too low. And they nerf some cards that I am very questioning the decisions. Let's get to these balance changes, shall we? First up is Sledge Slurper, who is now 1 1. So basically, a cable red that you can play on turn 1, and it costs also 1 mana on turn 2. I almost see no point in this change. Yeah, it's. Now it's going to be a. W I think it's still a battle cable rat, in my opinion, because you can play turn 1. And you can play the lackey on turn 2. But it's not that better now. It's basically only better by the turn you play it in. So, pretty underwhelming. I never thought this w card would have gotten nerfed. Let's hope Dragon's Pack is on there. Let's hope probably like next room of Gary is there. Yeah, Corrupt Elementalist now costs 6 mana. Interesting. 7-5 with partial rush or 6 mana. 3-3 free, free, deal 2 damage to... Twi deal 2 damage twice. Which is decent. It's 3-3 free, free and 3-3, free, free, but you get the benefit of invoking Galakran. Which is very good. So this card will be worse, but it's still very good for its stats. Which is great. Because most other cards have severe disadvantages even when played. For example, the Devoted Maniac. It's a 4 mana for free with rush, which is way worse than 7, 5, or 6. Because you get the 4 damage and you get for 2 mana a free free, which is still very good. Yeah, this card I think is still going to be played. It's going to expose Galagrand Shaman to murder. AKA Face Hunter, but it's okay. I think it will still see play. Mongo Flesh Shaper to 9 mana? Are you fucking kidding me, Blizzard? A 2 mana nerf? So, it's basically if you play this card, you win. Because the only bad card there is King Pharaohs. If you could make it to where it just punishes your opponent for having minions it would be decent because like this d this slows it down but still you can get still get a 12 12 theoretically on like turn 4 turn 5 still turn 6 is insane also this is not going to help priest at all because priest is fucked fucked right now there is no way this is going to help control decks like Priest in anything. This again just slows the burst of power. It was obvious Mogu was going to get nerfed, but come on guys, come on. What the fuck are you thinking? Just make it to where it just discounts for enemy minions, not make it 9 mana and make it more plausible to get an insane minion out of it. It's so stupid in my opinion. The worst balance change so far in my opinion. Also, um, Battlegrounds players, Nightmare Amalgam is gone. Yes, Nightmare Amalgam is gone. I'm surprised as well. 
there have been some also changes to Tavern tiers that I really don't want to talk about because this is the largest change and because I don't really play Battlegrounds that much. Nightmare Amalgam is actually gone which is going to be interesting because Amalgam was like the best minion in Battlegrounds. Wow. Um, also and here is the last balance change. Yeah, last. No change to Dragon Spec. No change to any Galakrand. No buff for Priest. Just Faceless Corruptor getting a slap on the wrist. Even though it's been the most powerful card so far. It surpassed Ziliax. Ziliax was the best card that wasn't unfair and was... In its prime, it was played in around half of the decks. This card surpassed Ziliax in usage. And that's insane. It was always going to get a nerf. But this... If you have a lucky on board, which is not that hard for many classes that run this thing... You can just play a 5 mana 4-4 four, four rush. Give a friendly minion. Plus four, plus three, plus three, and rush. Anubis have I don't know Warbringer, I no, Anubis had something Sentinel probably. What well, had plus three, plus three as a death rattle? It had the same stats. It was nothing revolutionary, but this card gives it as a battle cry plus three, plus three, and rush, basically. Rush is worth a lot of mana. I think it's around one mana. And this card is actually still going to see a lot and a lot of play. Also, hand buffs. This card works with hand buffs. So, enjoy playing with that Rattle Rogue. Yeah, Nectarium of Puffer of course didn't get a nerf. Which is completely fine. I am not brutally suffering because of that. But! And that's a big but. I don't know what the meta will be. But if I were to guess, Galakorn Shaman will take a fall. Because Face Hunter will rise. Then control decks will roll around. The problem is that Galagrand Shaman slaps up control decks. So it's going to be a fucking polarized meta. And I think because Shaman will still rise, control decks will be away, and Face Hunter will rise again. That's, in my opinion, going to be the cycle. We will see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.